I, I look mean up there. Um, I'm not a mean person. Maybe on maybe on a football field, um, but. Um, uh, thank you for having me. That is how I started. That's how I uh, became familiar with Green Building. Um, but uh, my story starts in Dayton, Ohio. I don't know if anybody's ever been there. Um, yeah, it used to be a, like a bolstering manufacturing, auto manufacturing town. Uh, my grandfather was a janitor for GM for 35 years, and he never told me what he did for a living. He just said, work hard and be great. Um, but you know, I grew up in this small, uh, very um, low, low income, impoverished area, and uh, my house was probably, you know, close to a thousand square feet, and there's five people living in there, three bedrooms, one bathroom, and just a living room, and like a small kitchen. And, you know, when you're young, you're just like, oh, we got a house overhead, a roof overhead, it's the greatest thing ever. Um, and what I remember most about growing up was watching my dad, who also, was somewhat of a janitor because he in he um, inspected sewer lines, right? So he's looking at poop and you know making sure the water lines are 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 manageable and not cracked and you know inspecting for lead and any other type of um, poor infrastructure. And he did this for a long time, and um, but I remember him impacting the community, right? It didn't matter what what, what his stature was in life um, or what his what his job and role was. Uh, he worked hard, and he I remember vividly this image I have in my brain. It was this all this this all state basketball player. Um, he was averaging like 50 points a night, like no lie. And you know I just kept seeing these these colleges come to his house day after day after day after day. And it was about seven people living in his house. <laughs> so my dad would like take take his arm around him. And, you know, speak life into him. Just, just mentoring him and speaking life into him. And I was just a kid just watching, like, well, what is my dad doing? Like, he's, you know, got his arm around this guy. What is he doing? And uh, that lasting image um, is something I always remember, right? Um, yeah, I play sports. Um, and, and, yes, um, I'm investing in companies. And I'm making this transition from football to business world and real life. But... It's all for naught. It really is all for naught if I'm not using my platform and extending what, I've, what I know and what I learned and doing what I saw my dad do, right? Putting his arm around another person, loving on them, um, teaching them, mentoring them, uh, showing them the path of life. Uh, so I make it my personal mission in life, um, no matter it's through my foundation or through business, to always, always, always think about service. Um, I was at an event um, this past weekend at Super Bowl, um, and it was CEOs and athletes, right? All these top CEOs. I mean, you just, I mean, you name them, they were there, and all these athletes. And, and I heard the priest say something that really stuck with me. Magnanimity steeped with humility. Magnanimity steeped with humility. And magnanimity is the pursuit of greatness, the pursuit of an honorable thing um, that, you're, that you're going after, and you'll do it no matter what the difficulty. But, you know, that's, that's very selfish, right? That's very self-centered. But humility is about service. It truly is about service. So I started a foundation because I was really upset. I was really upset that I didn't know about green buildings. I didn't know about energy. I didn't know about business. I didn't know about what college and life, real life was about. I'm 21 years old, drafted by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I have a lot of money in my pocket and I do not know what to do with my life, right? I'm just sitting here. My parents didn't teach me, mentors didn't people. People did not teach me about life. And here I am like, well, what do I do? How do I function? And I said, I want to change that. Like, here I am, a football player, a person with influence, a person that can impact other people's life. How can I serve? And that's what humility is. Humility is saying I'm lowering myself or I'm meeting people where they are because I care, right? And I want to serve. So still, I still have that lasting image. So that's what I decided to do. I just started a foundation to help people, help young high school students not deal with what I dealt with. Like, oh, they should know. They should know how to balance their checkbooks. They should know about credit, taxes, loans, how to buy a house, right? They should know if I have $50,000 in the bank, what should I do? So that was my passion. So I just carried those passions over to business. 
So I meet people like Rebecca, um, no, Rebecca, I meet people like um, everybody in here, you know, and I say, well, how can I connect you to people who, who were once me, right? How do I connect the CEOs and all, everyone who's involved in, in real life to real people, right? Because sometimes we get real stuck in our ways and we get siloed in our magnanimity. But now we have to learn humility and service. So that is my journey. This is where I am and I'll always be here. This is my life. I'll always have service included in business, giving back, um, reaching out, it doesn't matter. So I thank you all and I hope I inspire some of you. And if you have any questions, I'm always willing to answer them. Thank you.